when genius, graced with lineal splendor, glows, when title shines, with ambient virtues crowned, like some fair almond's flowery pomp it shows, the pride, the perfume, of the regions round then learn, ye fair, to soften splendor's ray, endure swain, the youth of low degree, let meekness joined its temperate beam display, tis the mild verdure that endears the tree pity the sandaled swain, the shepherd's boy, he sighs to brighten a neglected name, foe to the dull applause of vulgar joy, he mourns his lot, he wishes, merits fame, in vain to groves and pathless vales we fly, ambition there the bowery haunt invades, fame's awful rays fatigue the courtier's eye, but gleam still lovely through the checkered shades vainly, to guard from love's unequal chain, as fortune reared us in the rural grove, should their sighs illume the desert plain, even I may wonder, and even I must love not unregarded sighs the lowly hind, though you contemn, the gods respect his vow, vindictive rage awaits the scornful mind, and vengeance, too severe, the gods allow on Sarum's plain I met a wandering fair, the look of sorrow, lovely still, she bore, loose flowed the soft redundance of her hair, and on her brow a flowery wreath she wore oft stooping as she strayed, she culled the pride of every plain, she pillaged every grove the fading chaplet daily she supplied, and still her hand some various scala and wove erroneous fancy shaped her wild attire from Bethlehem's walls the poor lymphatic strayed, seemed with her air, her accent, to conspire, when, as wild fancy taught her, thus she said hear me, dear youth, oh, bare and hapless maid, sprung from the sceptred line of ancient kings, scorned by the world, I ask thy tender aid, thy gentle voice shall whisper kinder things, dot the world is frantic fly the race profane nor I, nor you, shall its compassion move come, friendly let us wander and complain, and tell me, shepherd, hast thou seen my love, my love is young but other loves are young, and other loves are fair, and so is mine, an heir divine discloses whence he sprung, he is my love, who boasts that heir divine, no vulgar daemon robs me of my rest, I and thee listens to no vulgar vow, a prince, from gods descended, fires her breast, a brilliant crown distinguishes his brow, what, shall I stain the glories of my race, more clear, more lovely bright, than Hesper's beam the porcelain pure with vulgar dirt debase or mix with puddle the pellucid stream? See through these veins the sapphire current shine. Twas Jove's own nectar gave th ethereal hue can base plebeian forms contend with mine, display the lovely white, or match the blue. The painter strove to trace its azure ray, he changed his colours, and in vain he strove he frowned I, smiling, viewed the faint essay poor youth. He little knew it flowed from Jove. Pitying his toil, the wondrous truth I told, how amorous Jove trepanned a mortal fair, how through the race the generous current rolled, and mocks the poet's art and painter's care. Yes, from the gods, from earliest Saturn, sprung our sacred race, through the me gods conveyed, and he, allied to P. H. Bus, ever young, my godlike boy, must wed their duteous maid. Oft, when a mortal vow profanes my ear, my sire's dread fury murmurs through the sky, and should I yield his instant rage appears, he darts th uplifted vengeance and I die. Have you not heard unwonted thunders roll? Have you not seen more horrid lightnings glare? Twas then a vulgar love ensnared my soul, twas then I hardly scaped the fatal snare. Twas then a peasant poured his amorous vow, all as I listened to his vulgar strain yet such his beauty would my birth allow, dear were the youth, and blissful were the plain dot but, oh, I faint, why wastes my vernal bloom, in fruitless searches ever doomed to rove my nightly dreams the toilsome path resume, and I shall die before I find my love dot when last I slept, methought my ravished eye on distant heaths his radiant form surveyed, though night's thick clouds encompassed e all the sky, the gems that bound his brow dispelled the shade. Oh, how this bosom kindled at the sight! Led by their beams, I urged the pleasing chase, till, on a sudden, these withheld their light. All, all things envy the sublime embrace. But now, no more behind the distant grove wanders my destined youth, 
and chides my stay see, see. He grasps the steel for bear, my love Ianthe comes, thy princess hastes away. Scornful she spoke, and, heedless of reply, the lovely maniac bounded o'er the plain, the piteous victim of an angry sky army, the victim of her proud disdain, 